Hi guys, this is uh, Tom from Rumours. Just going to have a quick look at Windows Phone Mango and some of the more secret features. Um, so if you look at the start screen, it's fairly standard, it um, hasn't changed much. Um, when you go into the sort of app menu, we've got a search button now that allows you to search for all your applications. So you can find Twitter on there or you can search on the marketplace. Um, when you actually install an application from the marketplace, so if we install eBay, what you'll notice will happen is it'll start start loading into the menu and you'll get a progress bar across here until it loads. Now um, some of the better improvements in Mango are the fact that they've changed a lot in the settings. So in sounds you can now have um, different different email email chains and you can change those to MP3s as well. So if you if you load in MP3s from from another application, they'll be listed here. Um, you can also change the lock timeout. So before, when you ever when, whenever you had a, a password on here, uh, you'd have it would be required each time. But now you've got an actual list of whether it needs to be thirty seconds or anywhere up to thirty minutes, which is quite handy. So you don't have to constantly have to type in your password. Uh, see what else they've added. We've also got a battery saver option in here. Um, you can turn turn on the battery saver, so it basically preserves the battery, and it was shut down sort of your. I think it shuts down like music playing in the background and Wi-Fi, etc. Um, you can also turn on um, the music uh, uh, album artwork. For when it's uh, on the lock screen, so you can toggle that there as well. I'll just show you how that works. If we go into the zoom, play some music. You also notice that the actual um, the volume chart has changed. It's no longer a, 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 a sort of graph going up the side. It's actually just just a number. Now in, in this build, the album art doesn't actually show, but normally it would come up here. But they've obviously got some sort of zoom branding there at the moment. They've also increased the size of the um, the actual play controls, so a lot larger than, than the standard version. Also, in messaging, they've actually changed um, the colours, so you can probably just about see there. The top one is sort of a, a lighter blue, and then you've got the dark blue for your outgoing messages. It differentiates between the two a little bit better. Um, you can also, if you've got a friend, so say Raphael here, if you want to actually switch from, I'm talking to him on Messenger at the moment, I could talk to him on Facebook or f from his mobile. And I can also set the uh, IM presence there for, for Messenger. Um, one of the other cool features is that the shutdown has been slightly changed, so if we try and turn off the Mango device on the left it actually drops down and confirms you to, to slide to power off and with the standard device on the right it just yeah. simply switches off okay so um, another slight tweak to Mango um, in the copy and paste uh, user interface so we copy the test word here you actually get a, a small sort of circular button up the top now now on the Nodo device you used to get a square button up the top. Now um, on Mango, if you paste in, you get the paste button, it sort of hides there. So it's sort of like hinting for you to, to swipe to get access to it again. And back on Nodo, you get the paste button and it would disappear. So you'd have to slide across. So it's a slight, slight tweak there. Okay, so the um, Internet Explorer 9 interface has changed slightly. So you've got the address bar down the bottom now. And you've got no UI up, up here, even if you drag down, you don't get any of the status symbols. So they're available as soon as you hit the bottom, so they all appear at the top. So it maximizes the browser space, no matter what. Um, if we compare that to the Nodo device, where you have, i.e., you have the address bar up here, and you can drag down and get the status bu buttons. Okay, so um, Facebook addicts will be impressed with some of the new features in Mango. Now under the me um, part of your profile, um, you've now got 
the profile listing and you can check in um, and you've also got notifications from Facebook um, or Windows Live so if you tap on the Facebook one here it loads up the picture and all the comments and you can also go into here and add and view tags so if I wanted to tag people in it I can just go who's this and then type in their, their name and all their tag and then tag them if we go back I've also got what's new on here so if we compare that to Nodo this is the me here so you've literally got what's new so it's been slightly improved in Mango okay so uh, Mango also introduces the ability to dictate your SMS messages using your speech if we tap on the speech button there say your message testing You can see it's written in testing for us there. Um, now the other uh, function I wanted to show you is the mapping. So if we use the, this is the multitasking user interface, so fairly slick. And if we go into the mapping, and we'll go from London to Manchester. And it'll go off and get the directions for us. Now what this will do is it'll, it'll literally step through. Um, every single direction and it, it will speak it out loud as well so I don't know if this is going to work because we're indoors at the moment Can't connect to satellite. yeah so that that's the sort of voice that you get on your uh, GPS there but you can see it's got all the all the different roads that you need to go f to get from uh, London Charing Cross to Manchester there okay uh, and last but not least in our uh, whistle stop tour of Windows Phone Mango just going to have a quick look at the Xbox features that have been integrated. Now the first thing you'll notice is the um, the background looks rather like the new um, user interface for the dashboard which is coming later this year for Xbox. Um, now you also get your, your 3D avatar sort of integrated into here and that used to be part of the Xbox Live Extras application. Um, you can also get to see who's online and who's requesting to be friends with you. So if I scroll down, pools online. I've seen that. Um, you can also message him. So you can send him a message over Xbox Live. And you can check your messages and your profile from here. And you earn also all your achievements. Now you also get your collection of games that you can download or any trials, etc. So it's a little bit more improved from the actual basic um, Nodo interface, which we'll show you. As you can see, you don't get a 3D avatar, it's just sort of basic avatar. Okay, um, another one for Facebook fans. Um, you can also get multiple calendars in here. Um, so I've got my Facebook calendar in there, there as Magneta. Um, if we go back, I've got an invitation here from a Facebook friend. I can go in, I can look at the wall and comment. Um, and I can also look at the guests and the details of the actual event um, so that's a nice integration there for Facebook events now we'll touch on all of the multiple can calendar functionality when we look at the calendar hub um, later in the week ok thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of Mango there um, we're going to be posting a new um, sort of demo of a feature every day this week so stay, stay tuned for more, so we'll go sort of into the hubs and show every single feature and every single setting in there. So if you want to know more about mess the messaging hub or the people hub or Outlook and Office etc. Stay tuned. So we'll be posting those later at winrumors.com.